Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here. Today we're continuing looking at the story of Solomon. Um, and we're going to be in 1 Kings chapter 2. Um, and I want to start off by explaining that it's really important understanding uh, when we look at any scripture, why it was written and who it was originally written to. And then after understanding that, we can look at how it applies to our own life. So looking at chapter two, we see that David is at the end of his life. He is about to die. And so he's giving his son Solomon some instruction on how to be a godly leader. And then he gives him some political warning and instruction on what he needs to do. Uh, and the rest of the chapter is Solomon carrying out um, that instruction that his dad, David, gave him. And I encourage you to read it, uh, but I want you to keep in mind when you read the whole chapter um, that the kings were set in place by God to lead the nation of Israel to be um, faithful to God and be used by God as an instrument um, to enact justice for the nation of Israel. Um, so keep that in mind as you read the rest of chapter 2, but we're going to focus right now on verses 2 and 3. And so this is David speaking to his son Solomon, and this is what he says. He says, I am about to go to the way of all the earth. Be strong and show yourself a man and keep the charge of the Lord your God, walking in his ways and keeping his statutes, his commandments, his rules, and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that you may prosper in all that you do and wherever you turn. So looking at the original intent, this is, again, David giving his son Solomon instruction on how to be a godly king and lead the people of Israel faithful to God. And so it's important to understand this because I've, I've had people, especially some women in the past, when it specifically says men, like why isn't it talking to women, including women also? And there's a very specific reason for that if you understand this passage, and it's because it's a man, David, talking to his son, Solomon. Um, he's not addressing any women. He's just addressing one man. And so it's helpful to understand the original context. So you understand that, and David's giving him instruction of you need to be strong. You need to be brave to be able to faithfully lead the people to follow God. And if you want to be prosperous and successful in being a king, then you have to follow God's ways and follow all of his commandments. And when we look at the life of Solomon, we can see that as he followed God's commands, he was successful. Um, and when he didn't, he wasn't. And so that's the original intent. And so now we have to ask ourselves, what does that mean for my own life today? And so I think the question is, do we want to be prosperous in all that we do? And I think that I can say that everyone would say, yes, they want to. And so the answer is quite simple. Follow God and obey his commands. That's really simple, but it's not easy. Because what it means is that we have to deny ourselves, uh, take up our cross and follow Jesus. But that means that is daily choosing to surrender to God and surrender our desires, our thoughts, our motives, our wants, and say, God, I'm choosing to say no to that and choosing to say yes to you. And if you want to follow God's ways, you have to be in communication with God. And that's just another way of saying praying, is in constant communication with God, talking to him. And if you want to know what his commands are, that means reading the Bible and then read it and then actually live out what he says to do in his word simple. It's not easy. But if you choose to do it, then you will see how your life can prosper and be blessed by God by following his way of doing life. So I, I pray that you choose to follow God in all of his ways for all of your life. Have a great day.